Evil Knievel scramble van. 75 bucks for that? That doesn't seem too bad. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. And I am at the Antique Gallery Tea Room. I couldn't read it backwards and I couldn't remember what it was. I'm at the Antique Gallery Tea Room. We've been here before. It's been a long time though, but I thought we'd pop in here today. I just finished up my five thrift store Friday adventure. Thought I'd film another video while I'm on this side of town. A little, little extra content for you guys. So we're about to head in here, see what kind of goodies they got, what kind of new stuff they got on the shelves. I'm actually kind of in the mood for some video games today. So we're gonna take a look and see if they got any Nintendo or maybe even an Atari system. I'm kind of in the, in the, I'm on the hunt for one of those. I've been checking them out on eBay, but if it's uh, they have one here and it's a good price, I might just get it here. I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray that the vintage antique gods are good to me today and we actually get a good price on some stuff. Check this dude out. Captain Hook. That's awesome. How much do they want for him? Oh, well, it looks like, uh, I think it's $15. I think that's what that said. Man, he's pretty awesome. Oh, I like him. Oh, we got a shelf full of Funkos over here. Oh, look at this Randy Macho Man Savage one. Oh, that's awesome. What do they want for him? 50 bucks. Whoa, dang. I'll pass on that. And we've got the Ghostbusters up here. Oh, check this out. That lunchbox, Rough Rider, that is cool, man. They got a Evil Knievel, a Dukes of Hazard coffee mug or a cup or something like that. That's pretty sweet. Evil Knievel scramble van. 75 bucks for that? That doesn't seem too bad. There's Mr. Knievel himself. Chapped lips. I like the uh, the advertisement display. Oh, look at this. Double bubbles, man. I love that sign. That is super cool. Baby barnyard. I have no idea what that is. I like that. That's cool. You got all kinds of antique stuff in here. Look, look at this guy. It says, uh, this is an alien base. All right. <laughs> oh, wow. It kind of reminds me of like a door that would be like on an old airplane or something. Got some baseball stuff. There's a Marvel figure, some comic books. And what do we got down here? Probably a vintage Darth Vader Pez dispenser. And then we've got that Frankenstein in the back, or maybe that's supposed to be Lurch from uh, Adam's family. Oh, here's some Witcher figures. Yeah, look at that. It's like a Build-A-Figure or something in there. And then what's the Star Wars Black Series? Pikachu. Oh, look at the uh, the gun. I don't know. That might be a toy. It's a replica. Yeah, I was going to say it might be a toy gun. It's definitely a replica. We got Captain Jack Sparrow. Got some cool stuff down here. These little mini figures. Check out these guys. Man, those are awesome. Ah, here's the video games. These look like the same video games that were here months and months ago when I picked up some Nintendo cartridges. This one here looks new though. Championship series. Looks like almost looks like Little League Baseball. It says Anthony Adams for a second. I thought it said Anthony Robbins. I'll put that over there. What's this one? That's kind of cool. All right, well, let's put this over here too. 10 yard fight, Roger Clemens MVP, tag team wrestling, football. Mm. I'll check this one. I'm gonna look this up on YouTube to see what it actually looks like. 
All right, guys, I just checked out these three games. Little League Baseball, actually says Little League Baseball on it, so <laughs> it was Little League Baseball. Um, and then this Psych, Psych Ross, it's a, it's a game, it's like a motorcycle game, kind of looks like Tron. It looks really cool. And then this football, so these all look pretty pretty good. I am excited to actually get them home and try them. I need some new games, so I'm gonna pick these up and uh, we'll take a look around and see what else we can find. Oh, look at this. Cosmic art, these uh, Atari games, Pac-Man, we got Dragonfire, Astro Blast, that's a different cartridge, Warlords, Star Master, man, I gotta get me a uh, Atari system, Air, Sea Battle, I have a retro one that doesn't come with cartridges it's like a new it's like a or what, what do they call it a reproduction and it's pretty cool and it's got some cool games in it but there are some games that i'd like to get that are not on it for example star wars empire strikes back that was one of my favorite games of all time and it's not on my reproduction one so i'd like to get an original night driver that was always a fun game okay and we got some figures over here some x-men we got some batgirl Here's some like uh, PlayStation. I wonder if they have PlayStation 1 games. I need some of those too. So I'm gonna take a look around and see play. A lot of PlayStation 2. I don't see any PS1s here. I'll oh, check these out over here. Oh, that dude there's pretty cool. I like the little display case they've got there. And here's some Mario Brothers Bowser. This booth right here is always loaded up with cool stuff. Oh, look at that thing, Star Wars. What is that? Ambin Phase Pulse Blaster? Cool. Oh, look at that Tauntaun back here with Han. That's awesome, that Batman. Born to Kill, that's from Full Metal Jacket. And uh, wow, that Hellboy is still here. He's been here for like two years. Ooh, look at that Penguin. DC Comics Multiverse. Moon Knight. All these figures are new. I haven't seen these ones before. Who is that? Batman the Animated Series. I don't know who that is. And then we've got Batman over here. Oh, check him out. He's got like a cyborg face. We got a bark speeder bike. Spider-Man's cool. Oh, they have Layaway available. That's awesome. Iron Man. Is this like some sort of Star Trek ship? Wow, look at all these vintage My Little Ponies. Those are in really great shape too. There's more down here. And even more down here. Look, there's some flocked ones. Those are cool. Oh yeah, and then we've got some up here too. Oh, look at this one. That one looks like it's like, that one looks like it's hitting a bong. <laughs> it's all $330 for that, holy crap. Oh, look at all these puppet masters. They're always here though, nobody ever buys them. They're super cool to look at though. We've got Ultraman and Ultra 7. We got this Sky Sled. Turbo Man. There's some Care Bears up on top there. I don't know, what is this? Raya, the last dragon? Oh, it's like a Disney movie, huh? Okay, what do we got over here? Oh, look at this guy. Scooby-Doo Blue Falcon and Muttley. Got some Back to the Future. Oh, these are awesome too. Hey, check that dude out. Is that Mr. Freeze? Yeah, it sure is. We got lots of Mandalorian Black Series over here. There's a Boba Fett. Wow, look at that. That's awesome. What do they want for him? 50 bucks. Damn. This stuff's expensive. Look at this trooper. Stormtrooper Holiday Edition. That's kind of funny. Two thousand one, a space odyssey. Oh wow, black hole. 
Look at this. This is like an original superpowers. Batman. What do they want for him? Oh, it's like from China or something like that, or Japan. Uh, they want 40 bucks. 40 bucks for that. And then we got some My Hero Academia. These figures are cool. Oh, Ming the Merciless. Speaking of Tron, I was speaking of Tron earlier. Here's some Tron figures. You can pull this guy out a little bit to get a little better look at him. Oh, uh, yeah. I remember when these were at uh, Walgreens. I saw him. I never actually saw this guy. Oh, we got a Hulk Hogan. Some Justice League here on the back wall. And here's some Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. A little Fortnite. What are these called? Metroids? Never heard of those. Skyrim. Oh, what's this up here? Robin and Raphael, huh? Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And here's the new superpowers that are out. I wonder what he's asking for these. 20 bucks. Dang. That's, that's like double what they are in stores, right? Uh, I've got this one. I actually picked them up at a toy show. Is he going for this? $50? Is that what that's going for now? Yeah. It seems a little high. I think I only paid like 20 bucks for mine or 25 yeah. Wow, look at all these. Oh, let's just start up here at the top. Take a look at these guys. Oh, I like his look. I like this dude too. That's cool. I like those vibrant colors always get me. Oh, check it out. It's Bane. That's a cool looking Bane. Some Batgirl, Catwoman, Mr. Freeze, Harley Quinn. Oh yeah, check out this Joker too and his little buddy, whoever that guy is. Whoa, look at that thing, $1,000, wow. The Predator, oh, that's a nice one. I like that. Oh yeah, look at this over here. It's like a little comic on the side almost. Looks like we've got some Mortal Kombat stuff over here. Scorpion and Sub-Zero. You know, I actually almost bought him in Walgreens one time, but they wouldn't sell him to me because he didn't ring up on the register. And check that out, he's going for 40 bucks. It was 20 at the time. It was about two years ago. Oh, that's a nice looking Batman. That's cool. We got the Batmobile, the Bat Cycle, lots of figures over here. We got the Bat Cave. These are all things that you can get at Target. But look at that, 40, 40, 50, 40, 40. Like, I think they're like 20 bucks at the store, right? Oh, I like this Rocketeer. It's only 10 bucks. Looks like a cassette tape and a comic book. Got this Biker Scout. Look, he's already like discolored. And that's a new one too. That's not like a, a vintage Biker Scout. Ooh, there's our Hulk. Check him out. And we've got an Apollo 13 astronaut. Is that uh, supposed to be Tom Hanks, maybe? I like that talking bender back there. And there's Thor's hammer. There's uh, something back there. Jager. Jager Gypsy Danger Ultimate Edition. I've never heard, I've never heard of that. We got some Indiana Jones movie posters. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh, this one's like in uh, Spanish, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe French? I don't know. Maybe you guys can help me out. Oh, check out that rescue hero, dude. Looks like there's a, another one back here behind him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a fireman down there as well. Got like an old chicken. 
maybe a Fisher Price toy. And what's this? Oh yeah, we got a Millennium Falcon. Something. And I don't know what that is, maybe a Transformer? We got some big old stacks of comic books right here. All sealed up though, you can't really get to them. That Tarzan's cool. My buddy Keith would like that, he likes Tarzan. Oh, nice, check this out. We got a Mickey Mouse lunchbox with the thermos. We got these Snow White figurines. Oh, look at that, we've got Pigs in Space lunchbox, that's awesome. Oh wow, look at those big 12 inch figures back there. And then we've got some more Star Wars down here. And even stuff way down there in the nooks and crannies. What else do we got? Is that the Crypt Keeper? I believe so. We got some Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. Oh man, that thing looks awesome. I love the thing. The thing and Hulk, those are two of my faves. Oh man, lots of cool stuff in this little booth. Cygor. What do we got over here? We got some eight tracks. Oh look, it's the real Ghostbusters. I've got those guys already. Those are vintage though. Oh, and they only want $5 for Egon, that's cool. Probably five bucks for Ray too, I would imagine. Oh, look at that Batman up there. That Joker, let's see if we can zoom in on him. Whoops, wrong zoom. There we go, super cool. Yeah, that Superman is pretty awesome as well. I wonder how much they want for that thing. 25 bucks, it looks like. That's actually not a bad price. I'm not gonna get them today, but I might come back and get them. Well, check this out. We got ourselves a Dick Tracy mug. What do they want for that? 10 bucks? Hmm. It's a pretty cool thermos. I kind of want it, but I'm working on a budget, guys. Oh, look at this Walking Dead figure. We got a talking Mickey Mouse. That's from the 80s. I actually found one of those at Thrift Giant, but mine didn't work. There was like a cassette tape you put in his back, and he didn't work. So I ended up selling him pretty cheap. Wow, look at all those Lego figures. Oh, they're only four bucks each or three for ten. Well, that's not bad. What else they got in here? They got some Ghostbusters, some Dallas Cowboys stuff. All right, guys. Well, I think I got what I'm going to get. So, hey, I hope you enjoyed watching this content as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, do me a favor, smash the like button. That really helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more great content coming your way and over 500 videos that you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.